Welcome to another optimization guide. Today we are going to optimize Guild Wars 2, we will change some Windows settings, install DirectX 12 API for Guild Wars 2, and optimize in-game settings for the best performance and quality possible. Let's start. The first thing we are going to do, is to download the latest supported Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2015, 2017 and 2019. We need these, to make sure the DirectX 12 API will work properly and we will not get any errors later on. Once downloaded, click on the file to start the installation. For me is only the repair and uninstall option available since it's already installed on my PC. Click install and proceed with the installation. Once installed, it may ask you to restart your computer. Click on restart later since we are going to do some other stuff that requires a restart too. Next let's go and change some Windows settings. Type game mode on your search bar and click on it. I recommend letting this option disabled, but you can experiment by yourself and see what works best for you. Some people have reported that is helpful while others say it's useless. For me it doesn't anything so I keep it disabled. Go to your Xbox game bar, and make sure to disable it. The next setting is not available to everyone, so you may not see this option. It's only supported by specific GPUs and drivers, and even if your GPU may be supported you won't see this option until you update your Windows 10 to the 2004 version and your GPU driver to the latest available one. Make sure to set it to ON and browse to find Guild Wars 2 EXE file, and click on Options and choose High Performance. Click on Save and let's move on to the next thing. Let's defrag our HDD and optimize our SSD to decrease our loading times in Guild Wars 2 and generally in our complete system. Click on Optimize every drive you have on your system, and let it run. It may take some time, so let's move on to the next settings. Let's quickly go to the power option settings. Here if you have an Intel CPU make sure to choose the high performance plan. If you have an AMD based CPU make sure to choose the AMD Ryzen high performance plan. If you can't see it then make sure to download the latest chipset drivers for your CPU and install them. After that you will be able to see the AMD Ryzen high performance setting. Choose the plan according to what I said and you should be good to go. Now that we are done with the power options, let's move on. Let's find our Guild Wars 2 executable file or the shortcut of it. Right click on it, choose properties and click on compatibility mode. Tick the disable full screen optimization options, and then click on change high DPI settings, click on override and make sure the option application is set. Click apply and OK. We are done with the Windows settings and optimizations. Let's move on to the installation of DirectX and game settings. D912PXY is a way to make games that use DirectX 9 use DirectX 12 instead, without changing any game code. This is specifically designed for Guild Wars 2. Instead of directly installing D912PXY, I prefer to install this add-on manager which has the option to install D912PXY directly and few other add-ons also. It's easy to install, easy to completely uninstall in case of errors and if the developer of D912PXY make an update you just have to press one button to get it instead of reinstalling the whole add-on. Keep in mind that performance may vary from system to system. Let's go ahead and download the add-on manager. I will leave all links needed to the description. Once downloaded, go ahead and extract the zip file. The location of the folder doesn't matter as long as you remember where you can find it. When the extraction is finished, open the folder and double-click on gw2addonmanager.exe. I have already installed it, so let me quickly uninstall and take it back to a clean installation, so we can do the steps together. Here you can see a couple of useful add-ons, the one that we need is the D912PXY, the rest are optional. I will also choose Arc DPS to see some metrics like FPS, ping etc. Make sure to choose the correct game path, else it is not going to work at all. The location may vary from PC to PC, 
so try to find it and copy the whole location from the search bar, after that come back and paste it on the game path. Now we are ready to go, press update and give it some time. Note that all of your systems are different, running different operating systems, hardware configurations, library versions etc. It's very possible that the plugins just don't work on your machine right out of the box, or that individual plugins won't work with your setup. I will leave some helpful links in the video description in case you face any problems. The game should start by itself once you click on close. The graphics at the beginning will look buggy but don't worry, that's normal. Depending on your system it will get some time to fully load every particle and aspect of the game. Let's wait for it to fully load and then we can proceed with our in-game settings. Ok, now let's go to our settings panel and click on display. For the resolution option, the developer of this tool recommends windowed full screen or windowed option. I've tested with full screen and I didn't get any errors or lower performance but that doesn't mean the same will happen for you. Refresh rate, leave it as default. Frame limiter, now if your monitor is 60hc you can set this to 60, if your monitor is more than 60hc set this to unlimited. Interface size doesn't really matter. Full screen gamma is more of a personal preference, doesn't affect performance. Setting preset is for ready-made settings which we don't use because they are badly optimized, like Guild Wars 2. Let's continue with animation. The quality of animations that are shown, like how the water ripples, or like how your clothes react to your movements. Set this to high. Anti-aliasing, tries to smooth jagged lines and edges, I recommend setting this to SMA a low for mid to high end computers, or none, for low end computers. Next we have environment, this option can only make things look better by adding textures. I recommend setting this to high since it doesn't affect your FPS tremendously. Set load distance to ultra, I didn't see any impact on FPS. If you get a FPS decrease you can try to lower the value. Reflection should be set to terrain and sky only for the best balance of quality and performance. Textures option, makes objects look sharper and nicer. It is mostly GPU dependent, if your GPU is really low end, you can set this to medium or low. If you have a high end GPU, set this option to high. Let's move to render sampling, let me show you how it affects the game in real time. I highly recommend setting this option to native which is a balance of quality and performance. For the best performance should be set to sub sampling but makes your game look blurry and ugly. And for the best quality should be set to super sampling but may decrease your FPS dramatically. Start with native and see how it works best for you. Next option is shadows. Now depending on your system specs and what's going on in the game you may want to increase or decrease the value. A good start is setting this to low and experiment in different modes. For world vs world I highly recommend completely disabling it, because the game is really bad optimized and even with the best GPU you are going to have tremendously low FPS. You can set it higher while roaming and questing around and see how it works for you. Shaders, has a high impact on your GPU. Set this to high for high-end GPU, if you have a low-end GPU, set it to medium or low. The character model settings are the ones that make or break the game especially in world vs world. When there are a lot of players around the CPU complexity increases dramatically making your FPS drop like nuclear bombs. I recommend setting character model limit to low, since we don't need to see every single person on the map and setting model quality to medium and see how it works. For world vs world you can set both to the lowest if your game is unplayable. The rest of the settings goes like this. Ambient occlusion set to on. Disable best texture filtering and depth blur. Keep effect load on. Disable high resolution character textures. 
enable light adaption and experiment with V-Sync, it caps your FPS to your monitor's FPS for a smooth gameplay. Note that it may increase input lag. So test it by yourself and see what works best for you. We are done with the in-game settings, note that settings may vary from system to system. I showed you what I think are the best settings for maintaining high FPS while the game looks nice. Now if you have Discord on your computer you may want to continue watching. I am going to change two settings that may be decreasing your FPS while playing. Go to your Discord settings, and click on Overlay. Make sure to disable it. Next go to Appearance tab and scroll down. And disable Hardware Acceleration only if you have a mid to high end system. For low end systems do not turn this off, because it may do your Discord unstable or even unusable. So that was the video. I hope I helped you with this settings and made your game more enjoyable. If I did, consider sharing it with your friends and help them out too. If you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button to get notifications when I upload new videos. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, more videos coming soon.